DPN Lawrence Wong announced in the 2024 budget that an additional $100 million would be allocated over the four years of our SG Arts Plan 2023 to 2027. Ms. Usha Chandradas would be glad to know that this $100 million provided is on top of the annual budget for arts and heritage and will go towards number one, expanding arts access for Singaporeans. Number two, developing our artists and arts worker in Singapore. And number three, building a robust arts ecosystem where our arts companies and artists thrive. In addition, we will look at making more significant investments in bringing the arts to the community, catalyzing new spaces in our city and leveraging the arts for social impact. We will further support arts group to achieve excellence, for instance, by catalyzing innovation, expanding into new audience segments and building common new capabilities through technology. Let me elaborate. NAC will expand access to the arts for Singaporeans so that all can participate and benefit. We want to extend the reach and the significance of the arts sector to Singaporeans across diverse walks of life and socio-economic background. Besides widening the access, we will unpack the power of the arts to promote the health and wellness of Singaporeans. Yesterday evening, Ms. John Pereira and Mr. Mohammed Fami have shared Super Aging Singapore can certainly gain from arts programs that seek to enhance the quality of life and personal wellness. We in MCCY and NAC agree with both Ms. Joan Pereira and Mr. Mohammed Fami. We have had good feedback from such programs and continue to do more in this area. For example, participants in the series of mindful, slow art programs by the National Gallery Singapore reported lower stress levels and enhanced well-being compared to non-attendees. So I'm glad to announce that NEC will collaborate with the Agency of Integrated Care, AIC, and Sing Health to develop a framework and resources to guide the design of programs that promote the arts for health and wellness. The framework to be developed by 2027 will include best practices, impact measurement tools, and case studies that can be used by our artists and our community partners. It will initially focus on the well-being of our seniors with plans to subsequently expand its scope to reach wider groups of people. The framework and the resources will open up more opportunities for our arts practitioners to use their craft to support and promote well-being. This move is also aligned with our aim to increase access to the arts for citizens through health and community touch points, further supporting the government's healthier SG objectives.